Modern Wear Running can be fun, and for those of you like me who cannot afford DCC, we use DC, which is a power pack like this, or if you can't afford one like this, you got something like this. Now you may be thinking, oh, you can only run one train of DC. Now you probably heard of wiring for two trains, and you're probably thinking, oh, my, that sounds too hard. In this video, I will show you how to run two trains on DC with two power packs on the same track. In order to operate two trains on one track in DC, you're going to need insulated rail adjoiners, right, which is right at the joint, and an atlas selector switch, or something similar to this. Two power packs I'm using so you can run two trains on one track. Um, this is negative right here, the blue wire. The blue wire goes on the same negative on this transformer, and that wire in turn goes all the way to the common rail, which on this case, it feeds through under the track and goes to this one, which is your common rail. Now the yellow wiring goes from positive on both cabs. Uh, B cab feeds on the bottom where it says B obviously. A cab feeds on to the top and then it feeds out to each track feeders in each block. That feeder right there is set to A block and that's a block right there. I mean A cab which is right there. Alright so my trains are on A cab. When I get to the next block which is set for B block it stops. But I can operate with the B cab now. So that's how you can run two trains on one track. So I'll show you running two engines on one track. The switches are set for this block right here for A cab for that engine. B cab is set for this block over here. So we're going to run a train on this block and on A block at the same time. I'm going to stop them so they don't have a head on. Plus the insulated joiners under there. So, Alright, hopefully you can use these techniques so you can have two train operation on your DC layout. Thanks for watching guys.